my fellow Americans, Asians, Blacks, Hispanics, Europeans, Australians, Indians, and all citizens of Earth. It has come to our attention that extraterrestrial civilizations of great technological and spiritual advancement have been visiting the Earth for quite some time. People such as Andrew DiBasiago, Captain Randy J. Kramer, Dr. Stephen Greer, David Adair, Bob Lazar, and a whole bunch of other people in a wide variety of walks of life who have been involved in special access programs and other covert military organizations with roots to the Iron Triangle, military industrial complex, or clandestine organizations with ties to these programs like the CIA, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NSA, DARPA, etc. have been whistleblowing and disclosing things for the past 100 years there have been a truth embargo for the past 100 years technology such as zero-point energy electromagnetic gravitics and a basic understanding of physics have been held back and suppressed since before the death of Nikola Tesla up until this very day it has still been suppressed it is my goal to allow it to be suppressed no longer remember Einstein said e equals mc squared does that mean I'm the first person to say M equals E C squared publicly? Maybe. Obviously, I'm not the first because Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Skunk Works, Raytheon, E Systems, etc., and a whole bunch of others have been using zero point energy based technologies to power electromagnetic gravitic systems for the past hundred years. Even the Nazis were working on a similar project called the Nazi Bell. Mass equals energy times acceleration squared. Newton's second law of motion says that the acceleration of an object is dependent upon two variables the net force acting upon the object and the mass of the object, which implies that the mass of an object is also dependent on two variables, the net force acting upon the object and the acceleration of the object. Acceleration can be accounted for when considered in terms of angular momentum. An object spinning in space, that spin or angular momentum, is caused as a result of moving through a vector. The source of that vector is the zero point, and that vector can be expressed as a motion through the fourth dimension. This fourth dimension can be considered a morphic space-time field. In other words, mass is expressed as a temporal space-time distortion caused by time, which is a zero point vector. All matter distorts space-time as it occupies space and is caused to spin by a zero-point source vector as it moves through this morphic space-time field. This can account for infinite possibilities all stemming from the zero-point, which gives everything in space its angular momentum as it spins in place in a sea of time, all flowing from a zero-point vector. Therefore, if mass is caused by the angular momentum given to everything in space across a sea of time, constantly flowing from a zero-point vector, keeping everything in a steady pace of angular momentum, then what what if an equal and opposite force in terms of angular momentum is applied to an object in motion, it would become massless while still being in the same place flowing through space-time, spinning in the opposite direction yet still moving in the same direction x, y, and z. This is how anti-gravity technology works. There has been an extraterrestrial presence since before ancient times, and this predates our human involvement here on this planet. The modern era since World War II has documented countless sightings and interactions with these advanced life forms and their spacecraft because of how technological capabilities like cameras and video recording devices began to be leaked to the enslaved masses of people. People who were unwittingly and unbeknowingly enslaved by a chronogarchy which sought full spectrum domination using silent weapons for quiet wars to enforce this chronogarchy all across space and time. It must be emphasized that these extraterrestrial beings are different from the terrestrial beings who have been using advanced physics to create technologies, weapon systems, and even alien reproduction vehicles that could stage a false flag alien invasion when in reality it must still be emphasized that the true extraterrestrials appear to pose no threat to humanity or Earth, but instead are quite concerned about our own unchecked war-making capabilities, violence combined with our usage of covert technologies to develop secret space programs, wage wars on Mars, the Moon, or even on Earth, and kill create a kill grid around the Earth, viciously using the natural National Geospatial Intelligence Agency as a front to use advanced technologies to track in real time all of space and attacking any craft which uses transdimensional technologies to jump into our dimension immediately as they pop into radar using particle laser weapons such as the kind derived from the Tesla death ray. It must also be emphasized that these special access programs which are not only above top secret but are also completely out of the control of our government and our president even our military it is considered that not only the president does not have a need to know, but also that our highest commanders and five-star generals do not have any kind of operational capabilities when it comes to the weapon systems or any part of these programs. 
They are a breakaway civilization which launders money from our corrupt government and our corrupt global financial system with a completely black budget. Since the dawn of time, these extraterrestrial civilizations have made concerted efforts to do reconnaissance at all known space and nuclear facilities. In some of these cases, these facilities have been penetrated by ET craft and our nuclear weapons and missiles have been rendered inoperable. Such incursions appear designed to warn us not to use nuclear weapons, which can damage the fabric of space and time and are not acts of hostility. They also appear concerned with the rapid decay of our biosphere and environment, the extinction of many species on Earth, and the black market which sustains the intergalactic human slave trade and sex trafficking against the will of sovereign beings. Since World War II, there have been extremely secretive programs studying the energy, communication, and propulsion systems of these ET craft which have run alongside our own covert study of these fields of physics and quantum mechanics and used to boost the developmental progress of these systems hundreds of thousands of years it is time for us to disclose these momentous scientific findings to you these technologies have the potential if used only for peaceful purposes to give us new and sustainable civilization on earth free of poverty free of pollution within a generation however if continued to be used for destructive violent and secretive purposes these same technologies will end our civilization like they have already been on a crash course doing so for the past hundred years for this and other reasons the strictest secrecy has surrounded the study of these extraterrestrial technologies the time has arrived for the truth to be known we are not alone in the universe it is time for humanity to become a mature, peaceful civilization and take its place in the cosmos with other advanced people from other star systems. To this end, I call on the world community, other world leaders, Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, anyone that feels the benefit of people knowing what's going on and having their free will to choose for themselves what they want to do about it, and all people of the earth to come together and begin this new era on earth we must make open peaceful contact and initiate diplomatic ties to these other worlds we must do this as children of earth and not just one nation all nations and people of earth must be represented and empowered in this process we must commit to keeping all weapons out of space we haven't been doing a good job and only going into space for peaceful purposes that benefit all of humanity we must bring forth these advanced energy and proportion technologies so that the world's environment and people benefit. We must all agree to never allow these technologies to be used as weapons of war any longer. We must commit amongst ourselves that if any nation or group attempts to use these technologies for violent or destructive purposes like they have been, every nation and people on earth must rise up immediately to stop it. It's time to stop it. We face a choice. If we do nothing, our environment and civilization will continue to degrade and we will face extinction. If we use this new technology and science for war and destruction like we have been, we will surely perish. But if we sustain and establish a world of peace, humanity can now advance as a civilization that is sustainable, just and worthy of exploring the universe. This is the singular and great challenge of our civilization and our generation to establish a world of peace. And this is the all chance to create a new sustainable civilization. Once we have all achieved this foundation of peace and justice, we have learned that these other worlds will welcome us in the cosmos with open arms and hearts. So my fellow citizens of Earth, let's work together to achieve the destiny of humanity, an enlightened, peaceful world that joins her place among the other people of the cosmos. For this is the only possible good future for humanity. It is time for us to unite as a people and create that good future. Now, wake up, you are free. Share this video with everyone you know, like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell icon so that you can see any future videos that I post immediately. By the way, James LaFleur from the Impossible channel, this is a shout out to you. You can post this video of mine on your YouTube channel. Anyone can take this video and repost it on their YouTube channel. Do it now, do it fast, repost it as many times as you can all over the internet and share it with everyone you know. I don't give a damn if I get credit or not. <laughs> Copyright. This is for the universe. This is for our people. Wake up now.
free to email me at luisizq1 at gmail.com. Anything you need, I'll help you out. Contact me for any help or questions.